Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how we made the mast. Set up a, uh, a box jig so we could rotate the blank. Uh, we took the four-sided blank down to eight-sided on the table saw. And then we put a couple of dowels in either ends of the blank. Built the box for it so it could rotate. And then we made a, uh, a little uh, a jig for a router sled to slide along. And what we did was trace the profile of the mast, if you can see by profile, I mean if you were to cut it in half, this outer edge, this diameter is uh, one and three quarters, the mast goes up to a two and a half thickness, comes up here at around eight feet or so and starts tapering back down to one and three quarter. So if you can imagine looking at that from the side, it's been out to the outside here. We trace that profile on the edge of a 1x4 board. So that here, if we had a, a two and a half inch wide mast here, and then this board was cut down to where it'd be one and three quarters here, we had two of them, we laid it so that as they rise up, the router will rise up on this little sled we built. So start one and three quarter. If you're about two feet up the mast, it's going to make us a diameter that's two and a half inches. Set the router bit where it just barely contacts the wood and then rotate the mast and just cut out a bunch of circles. You could also slide the sled fore and aft if you wanted and just cut the top edge off, rotate the mast, cut it off a little more, cut and cut and cut. And it comes up here at about eight feet or so. And then it starts tapering down again to the top of the mast. So we end up with this, started off four-sided blank, went to eight-sided put it on the sled and uh, started knocking off the big chunks got it mostly round then we came in gently with our belt sander and we just kind of lightly press on the edge to work our way down belt sander would actually rotate the the mast while it was in there we could use one hand with the glove on to slightly hold the sander and work it. So now it's down to a 40 grit and we'll hand sand from here. Probably go straight to 120 and get get it ready for the uh, little bit of varnish. Do one more little piece here, a little three quarter inch at the bottom. That'll be little peg that goes down into the mortise of our Penobscot 14.